when you move from high to low pressure. It's a natural thing. Bam, bam. It's not that you try to do it. So one exercise or one aspect of the training which is uh, focused on is the defense. From the defense comes the offense. From the high pressure position, defensive, coiled, you can unleash quite naturally without much effort. So this is the meaning behind effortlessness or nothingness. Now obviously it's impossible to become nothingness, but once you realize that's the goal, you naturally move from a high pressure to a low. So you naturally gravitate to that region which you're exploring or aiming towards. So from high pressure comes the release. Pressure built up in the center of gravity, released via the sound. Is a kind of pressure release. The inhale is the pressure. You see danger. Release. So we're looking for ways of releasing this pressure which has many aspects to it. What we'll focus on now is from the guard position, from the coiled position, from the chained position. You're able to defend, obviously. From there, it's quite natural to be able to release. It's not an effort of extension. If the pressure if the flexion is such that it naturally moves from one to the other, much like high and low pressure, it's a natural thing moving from one to the other. So we can do this with the kicks, with the punches. Moving from this chambered to release. bring it up like so chambered it's very natural for this one to relax we bring this one up it's very natural for this one to relax and sink down chamber it's very natural for this one chamber it's very natural for the opposite so the, another way of looking at it is the law of attraction or the opposites of pressure and release. Pressure, release, relaxation. You're free to turn and pivot as you extend with the opposite. So the idea is to move from pressure to release quite naturally. It's not a technical thing of having the arms in the exact position, the legs in the exact position. It's a principle which will naturally allow you to release once you bring back to the guard to the chambered position. So another aspect is the mentality. If you are nothing, if you're not full of yourself, it's natural to move from this nothingness, which you aren't, obviously. But at least you acknowledge that you need to do something. There's a desperation to move from nothingness to something. Whereas if you're already full, it has to be emptied. If you're empty, naturally, like the pressure systems, you move from low to high. If you're egotistical in this, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, 
So the higher you get, the bigger the fall. So mentally, you're looking at nothingness. Not because you want to become it, that's not possible, but at least you acknowledge there's some work to do. You put the utmost in, you're not saying, I've done it all, I can relax here now. No, you haven't done it all, because that was yesterday. Imagining you've done it is in the future. Now it needs to be done. The work needs to be done. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, now. So at least when you acknowledge that you're nothing, you aim towards more, acknowledging now that the work must be done.